Hi, I'm going to be installing NerdFonts on my new Linux Mint system. So I thought I might record it just to show that how you install NerdFonts. So to start with, just to show that I don't have NerdFonts currently installed, I'm on the NerdFonts cheat sheet and I just searched JavaScript here. So if I copy this icon and then try pasting it here, as you can see, I don't actually see that icon. It's just some letters, right? It's not rendering. So uh, what we'll do to install nerd fonts is go to the repo and then uh, go to patched fonts here we'll install the nerd one go here I uh, would like to install the regular one this is how you can install other fonts as well all these different files and folders and I just want the regular one so I'll just go here and then I want to download this file download so as you can see i tried to download them earlier as well just to test so now that i have the file downloaded um i need to put the file in my share local share fonts directory so just to show that i have that directory i'll go into dot local slash share slash fonts so in this directory sometimes you don't have this directory so what you can do is you will have to make it so i'll just show that as well if i just remove fonts as you can see i i don't have fonts anymore so what you'll do is mkdir fonts and now i can see the into it right nothing there so we just want to move the file that, that we that we downloaded into this directory so what we'll do is go back to home then downloads and if I do ls here you can see I have the hack nerd font file what I want to do is just move that file into the home dot local and uh, slash share slash fonts this directory and now it should be there just to check again if I go into cd.local share fonts and if I ls here you can see that the file is in the, inside this folder now and uh, that means the font has installed now we just need to select the font in our terminal and uh, just for safety purposes I'll just uh, re I'll just open up a new terminal close the terminal and open it again and then go to my terminal preferences custom font click on that and here if I search hack you can see that uh, the hack nerd font that I just installed is here. Go on that, click here, close, and it should be applied. So just to test that it is applied, I'll copy the same icon again, and I'll paste it here, and boom, now you can actually see the icon. Uh, just to test again, just to react. Copy that icon, paste that here. Now you can see that it's rendering the, the icons. That means that the font is installed. That's it, quite quick. Just like that, you can install any other font, uh, any variants and uh, anything else here. Uh, so yeah, thank you.